Using a plan site workflow, multidiscipline design is easily achieved. The designer starts by referencing out the needed area. This can be achieved by referencing out volumes, areas, services, or units. You can also reference out individual equipment or pipelines. Using the iTwin reference capability, you can browse the iTwin and reference other discipline files like structural, electrical, civil, and others. To modify items, you would discover which equipment or piping you wish to work on. Once you know that, you can browse the Plan Site Explorer and right-click to physically check out those components for manipulation. Once it's checked out, you can now make your modifications either to property data or graphical like adding nozzles, for example. Property data can be updated and saved. Nozzles can be placed either using the Nozzle Manager or placing nozzles using a freehand command. Nozzles placed in Nozzle Manager gives the user the ability to change size, spec, service, and dimensional input for exact nozzle placement. Once all the nozzle columns are populated, you can apply the changes and see the nozzle placement based on the input. You would periodically update your changes into PlanSight so others can see your changes. In the PlanSight Explorer tree, you can get the status of individual components to see who has what checked out for modification. The same process applies to checking out line numbers for modification. Once the line is checked out, you can perform the modifications needed and then check the line back into PlanSight for others to see the changes. Again, we would update those changes into PlanSight so others can see your changes. After all changes are checked in, the designer can clear referenced out data from PlanSight and also clear the referenced out files from the iTwin. Items can be re-referenced out from scratch in the next design session or not detached and just refreshed when entering the design file.